the next acceleration of gravity is going to be a Kostium acceleration. And the planet X, it doesn't allow us to put the acceleration of gravity there. So we're going to use a Kostium acceleration of gravity. And the acceleration of gravity that we're going to choose for as a Kostium is going to be the acceleration of gravity of Mars. Gravity on Mars, which is 3.721 meters per second squared. Okay? So I just did here 3.721. 3.7 right in here All right and right down there in your table 3.72 it go so let's start with Mars we Time, how long it takes for a single oscillation? Okay. And the timer is here. Release. Stop. Okay. I can put a slow motion, right? I didn't put a slow motion. Let's put a slow motion here. And let's do that again. Here you go. Don't forget the slow motion. So you have enough time to, to time it. Restart the reset your timer and restarted it. Here you go. It's going to come very slowly. Then I'm going to show you another feature of this simulation to get a more precise oscillation. Here you go. Going very slowly in Mars. Here you go. Because the acceleration of gravity stopped right in here. 2.75 for one meter Oh, wait a minute, I put 0.7 meters for the length, okay? So let's adjust it, here you go. Let's keep 0.7 meters this time. And 2.75 for Mars. You may get numbers that's slightly different. Okay, this is slightly different for the period, but in general, you're going to get the same numbers. Let's change the acceleration of gravity to 9.8 now, which is the case of the Earth. Here you go, 9.8. And look at this other option here, period timer. Okay, I'm going to check my period timer, and I'm going to show you how does it work. The period timer tells you, you know, it's going to time exactly how long it takes for a single period. Okay, let's do that. Watch how I, I do it. Here you go. It starts right here in the middle. It's going to go back, go to the other amplitude, and it's gonna, the timer is going to stop right here. 1.7076. Let's put that for the gravity of the Earth. 1.7076. We're going to do 4, 162. 162 is the moon. Okay. We're going to start our simulation again, right? Don't forget to click the start for this period timer. Here you go. Here come my, my pendulum. It's going to start at the middle. Here you go. One quarter of a period. Then it's going to come back. It was going very slowly because we are doing a very low acceleration of gravity on the moon. Half of a period. Three quarters of a period. And finally, the full period. When it completes the full period, the timer is going to stop. Here you go. We can pause now. Let's wait for the full ego swing. 4.2036. 0.2036. And now Jupiter that has a, a much larger acceleration of gravity, twice, two and a half times of the Earth. 
the oscillation is going to be faster, okay? In a smaller amount of time. Let's we go. We have to zero. We start the timer. Right, and let's start the sim. Oh, we gotta change that to Jupiter as well. Here you go. Let's start the simulation. A quarter of a period, half of a period, three quarters of a period, and a full period. And I can stop the simulation. One zero seven three nine. One point zero seven three nine zero. Seven, three, nine. Okay, so the higher the acceleration of gravity, the shorter the period of oscillation. The shorter period is for Jupiter, the second shorter is for the Earth that has the second largest acceleration, right? Shorter, next shorter is the for Mars and for the Moon. Okay, so let's go to our next activity here. We adjusted the gravity. Velocity and acceleration vectors. Turn on the velocity acceleration vectors. Observe the magnitude and direction of the vectors of the, as the pendulum moves. Okay, the green vector represents what? So let's go ahead. Velocity and acceleration vectors. Here you go. Let's take a look what uh, when I start the. Here you go. Now tell me which one is the acceleration, which one is the velocity. Okay. You know, remember that. The velocity vector is always tangent, always tangent to the path. Okay, the green arrow is tangent to the path. Whereas the yellow line oscillates back and forth. Okay, so the green line, the green arrow is the velocity vector. The yellow one is the acceleration vector. In this case, we have both a centripetal acceleration in a tangential acceleration. We have both. At a given point of time, here you go. I'm going to show you. Right here at this point of time, the velocity is almost zero and we have no centripetal acceleration whatsoever. Remember, the centripetal acceleration is a function of the velocity, right? If the tangential velocity is zero, the centripetal acceleration is zero. So you have most of the acceleration is going to be tangential. Tangential acceleration. As the pendulum moves towards the vertical, okay, we, I overshoot it here. So the acceleration has a larger component in the radial direction. Okay, so let's go. It go right in here, only tangential. Okay, and then, oops, right in here. See that? Most of the acceleration is radial, but you have a small tangential component of the acceleration. You can fill that up. Okay, turn on, observe the magnitude and the green vector represents, and the yellow vector represents what? Okay, lab questions and calculations. Use the period formula on the front page for the following answer in decimal form. If you keep the same lengths but change the mass, what happens to the period? Okay, what happens to the period if you keep the same length but change the mass? We saw what happened, right? Go back to the, we change the mass, same length. The period, period remains almost the same, which means that there is no, the period doesn't vary with the mass. And that was the equation told us. What's the period on Earth of a 0.25 kilogram pendulum with a length of 0.45? Use the formula, okay? I want you to use the formula in this case. So let's do that on Earth. I'm going to do the calculation for you. You can do it with your calculator, you can do it with Excel. 
okay? So here you go, the period, I'm going to do it here in Excel. The period is going to be what? 2 times pi, okay? You've got the square root of the lengths. What's the length? 0.45 meters. 0.45 meters on the Earth's surface is 9.8, the acceleration of gravity. Okay, so here you go, 1.34. Let's see if we have 